this now. We're joined by Jamie McGoldrick, United Nations Humanitarian Coordinator in Yemen. He's joining us from the capital, Sanaa. Mr. Goldrick, thank you very much for your time on this. So what do you make of what's happened? We've had yet more Saudi-led coalition airstrikes killing yet more innocent civilians um, and Saudi saying that this doesn't breach international law. Well, I think it's important that we recognize that this is yet another tragic incident which has taken place in Yemen as part of a two and a half year conflict which has gone on. And uh, we've always been trying to get the parties to the conflict, including the Saudi-led coalition, to uh, you know, understand that these type of attacks are prohibited under international law. And that's why the High Commissioner for Human Rights has called for an independent inquiry. Um, whether that takes place or not immediately or any time soon remains to be seen. But uh, clearly these are incidents that are affecting the, the tenor of this conflict and affecting obviously the civilians again who bear the brunt of all of these uh, tragic incidents that take place in Sana during this war. And as, you know, as we've been saying, the UN's called for an impartial, for a comprehensive investigation um, into Wednesday's attack. But these attacks are taking place all the time. So. Yes, you are calling all the parties to come to the table. That isn't happening. What pressure is being put on them, put on the Saudi coalition um, to stop these attacks and to come to the table? Well, we hope that the, the big answer for all of those questions is the fact that it has to be a political process. I mean, this fighting can't go on forever. The suffering can't continue the way it is. People can't continue to live these tragic lives, not knowing at any point in time that their life might end through airstrikes or other types of conflict on the ground. And so we hope a political solution and some of the same parties will come round the table and fix this. But at the moment we are just facing a, an amazing uphill humanitarian battle to try and safeguard people's life against famine and against cholera. And these incidents basically just exacerbate an already tragic situation in Yemen. We had um, a leaked UN report last week that showed that they're once again considering putting Saudi on a list of countries that maim, that kill children. This is something that they wanted to do last year but back down you know, after pressure from Saudi. What would being put on this list mean, do you think, for Saudi? Would it stop the killing of children in Yemen? I think out of uh, 1,340 that were killed in Yemen last year, um, 683 were at the hands of that coalition. I think it's important that we have these investigations. I think it's important that the High Commissioner for Human Rights and other bodies record these incidents and they make sure that there's some collection of evidence so that at some point in the future there will be some sort of uh, recrimination or there will be some sort of punishment for those who have been behind some of these acts that have taken place in this conflict which go against international humanitarian law. And despite our best efforts to remind the, the parties to the conflict and the belligerents, they have an obligation under international humanitarian law to safeguard civilians safeguard civilian infrastructure. This has been blatantly disregarded in too many occasions in this war.